721 and Lorraine is live at the Nate campus this morning. Yep, with a sneak peek at some of the programs to be featured at this weekend's open house. How about nanotechnology? Doesn't that sound exotic, Jen and Shay? Yeah, My gosh. So Alex, explain what's on that computer screen right now. What we're looking at here is uh, the Nate logo mm -hmm. and if you look at the bar on the bottom that's about the thickness of a human hair so if you can imagine this Nate logo is only about the size of two human hairs. So then the big question is James, Associate Chair of Nanotechnology, how do you do that? Well we do that next door in our clean room. Okay let's take a look. So first of all nanotechnology, what is that? Uh, it's the science and engineering of really small things so a billionth of a meter around that, that size scale. So it would apply to what kinds of things in real life then? Oh, uh, there's, there's applications in healthcare, um, oil and gas, um, um, even textiles, uh, food. There's a number of applications. So we're going into the clean room. Right. Explain why a clean room. Uh, well, the main reason is that you saw the Nate logo, which is the size of the human hair. Um, a piece of dust is around that size too. So if we had dust in there, that would damage our, the things that we're making. Okay, so what about what they're wearing? Uh, they're wearing suits that are they're actually designed not to protect them from the room. It's, de it's designed to protect the room from them. So any skin particles, hair that might come off on your, off, you know, in your daily life will uh, be trapped by the suit. So what kind of work would they be doing in there, Jane? Uh, well, right now they would be doing work um, like making things like the Nate logo. So they'd be doing lithography, which is really kind of like a stencil. Imagine taking a really small stencil and instead of using a pencil, you're gonna shine light through it instead that, that makes your patterns like the one we just saw. So what kinds of things would the students be studying? Oh, uh, in the first year, they'd study things like physics, chemistry, uh, a lot of biology, uh, the, the background stuff. And then in the second year, they would be studying um, things like lithography, things like making nanoparticles, making solar cells, making all kinds of cool things. And what about the job prospects? Um, it's a fairly new field, um, but the job, the job prospects are getting stronger all the time. And, um, and you only just had your first graduate. That's right, we did. So, Alex, you were telling me that you actually are, you're in your second year, yeah. and so you'll graduate this year. You're already working in this field? Yeah, I work a couple hours a week part-time at the National Institute for Nanotechnology. And is that where you're going to go once you're done? Uh, hopefully, hopefully there's a spot for me there when I graduate. What's it like being in that clean room? It's, uh, it's not too bad. It's kind of fun at first, but uh, it's definitely something that you have to adjust to being in that suit for a few hours at a time. Can you imagine, Jen and Shay, how it's, it's like something from a movie. When you look at what they're studying, and that's two years of your life, away you go. But what a fascinating field, and the opportunities are endless because it's brand new to Nate and brand new basically to the world to have graduates who, who have expertise in this one area. So when we come back, a mini substation as we take a look at electrical engineering. We'll have that for you in just a few minutes. Cool, all right. Thanks, yeah, Lorraine. That's, that's pretty fancy looking, excellent. Pretty cool. The Nate Open House takes place 9 a.m. until 3 this Friday, 10 a.m. till 3 Saturday at the main campus located on 117th Avenue and 106th Street. For more info, call 780-471-NATE or visit them online at nate.ca.